spent hundreds of dollars with my buddy Kenny over at Dirt Daddy for isopods. That's right, roly polies. There are hundreds of them inside here right now. And the best part is, I can't actually remember what I got exactly. Stick around while we show off some amazing isopods and go on this journey together of what exactly is inside this package. Let's get into it. Oh, and here we go, boys and girls. Of course, it would not be a Dakota Blue Exotics unboxing if we were not using the Baggins Blade. Boy, this thing has definitely seen its toll unboxing for about four years worth of reptiles, but hey, we will keep overcompensating with this blade right here to unbox our animals. And with all that being said, we should probably just get into it. Except maybe we should actually wait because I have something I want to show you real quick. And what exactly that's going to be is this shelf right here. Now, I don't know if you guys know, maybe you've been to the website, but uh, I actually breed isopod. This is a project we've been slowly building up over the past 2023 to 2024. We are currently working with six different species. Well, I guess technically eight different species when we look in that box. Off right here, we have quite a few different things. These are going to be my absolute favorite. They're going to be the dairy cows, the big old dudes. Uh, really cool to have a giant isopod. You know, usually they're about this big and they go pretty fast. Dairy cows are, well, dairy cows. Let's take a look at these little dudes. Even with a super wide angle lens like this 10 millimeter that we have on the camera right now, you can still clearly see them. These guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, I, I can't wait to be producing more. We did get a couple. That's one of the surprises in there. I can't wait to make more because I just want a ton of dairy cow isopods. Right next to it, we have this enclosure right here, which houses my zebra isopod. And now, unfortunately, I've had great success with pretty much all of my projects, except the zebras. We started out with 10 with all of them. Each one I usually get, I only got about 10. We're kind of switching that model with, well, you see in the box. But um, with this one, these guys just aren't producing at the scale. I really want them to. I, I got to figure out what's going on with these things. I love the zebra isopods. I think they look absolutely beautiful. But while with something like our dairy cows, where we have hundreds and hundreds at this point, the zebras, we've got, well, let's see right here. Just not that many, unfortunately. Coming up over on this bin, we have one of my personal favorites are gonna be the Peace Scabers or the Spanish Orange Isopods. These guys are absolutely fantastic. You can see they love the driftwood. So we have, a, oh my God, <laughs> we have a bunch, super prolific. These guys have been doing awesome for me. They've actually got to the point where we are selling them now. At the end of the day, it's not gonna be selling a lot of them because I do wanna keep these guys and keep getting their numbers up. They're absolutely awesome. You really can't beat an orange isopod. Usually when they're like, you know, the powdered blue or even the zebras, a little harder to see in bioactive enclosures. Uh, there's absolutely no missing a bright neon orange isopod in there. Over here, we have a couple of the uh, P. prionois, prionois, priu, prion, a couple of the prionosus. Probably still butchered that. Uh, we have them in both the varieties, both are pretty much the powdered blue or the powdered orange isopod. I know what you're probably thinking right now, Dakota, what's the difference between the powdered blue and the Spanish orange? I fucked that up. <laughs> Dakota, what's the difference between the powdered orange and the Spanish orange? Well, even though these guys are still orange, the orc is still going to see that blue. I find most of them either have like a blotch or a stripe that goes down the middle of the dorsal of the isopod. Whereas with the Spanish orange, they are completely orange. It's a bright orange isopod or these are orange, but just a little bit of that stripe. They also seem to be a little bit of a faster species and a bit smaller. I find the scabers to be a bit larger than these guys right here. But we do have these in the orange and then also the powdered blue variety here as well. We're not really focusing too much on breeding these guys, but when it comes to my isopod breeding, I really want to do, I guess what I would call like the designer species, you know, really get more into the high quality stuff. Rubber duckies are on the list. Calm down, boys and girls, we'll get them. As I mostly just wholesale them in and then I offer them for sale at retail price and then for bioactive kicks, anything like that. So if you're not really looking for that designer isopod, that really isopod, you just want something that's going to work with a bioactive kit, then I definitely recommend these two species. Now that that filler episode is out of the way, we can finally get into the meat potatoes of this video and that is going to be unboxing these isopods. Always got to put that sound effect in. Now these comes from my buddy Kenny over at Dirt Daddy. Absolutely fantastic guy. If you're not buying plants and <clears throat> other stuff from me, isopods and stuff, buy them from Kenny. He's a great guy, great dude. Absolutely love him. 
Pretty awesome little business card. I, I love this little holographic sticker. I gotta figure out how he, how he gets the holographics, as though that's pretty cool. As always, heated, insulated, he always does it best. This is something I'm really interested in. It's his second version of his, oh wow, he sent me a couple of bags, Jesus. Absolutely awesome isopod foods. I've been using him personally for my collection. He gave me his first version, and he, now he just shipped me the second version of his food. Thing is awesome. They absolutely love the krill, personally, for mine. They love the krill. The minnow goes pretty fast for the dairy cows, with some of the smaller species I recommend only putting like one in at a time so this bag will last you a good amount of time and the powder I actually also use for my dwarf species and isopods as well they all seem to love it let's get that out of the way and you really got this thing in there you oh he I love how he packed with the it's just wrapped with phase 22 packs that is awesome all right let's 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 get this out let's see them All right, so we have three different species going on right now. We'll start from, we'll start with the one we already talked about a little bit, and that's going to be these guys right here. It is a hundred count of the dairy cows. I absolutely love the dairy cows, like we mentioned a little bit earlier. These guys are so cool. Um, we probably have about 100 to 200 right now, so pretty much almost doubling what we have now. We'll definitely be ramping up our production, which means more dairy cows coming very soon for availability. This is the one I forgot about. Now, originally, the plan was I was going to get orange Dalmatians, but unfortunately at the quantity that I wanted, uh, there wasn't enough going on right now. So I ended up substituting for these Japanese mystic potions. These guys are so cool. Pretty much a white isopod with these yellow dashings going on in them. They're absolutely fantastic. I love these things. And last but certainly not least, we have the Panda Kings. My guy, this might be my new personal favorite. I really have a heart for the the uh, dairy cows. Granted, we don't have a lot of variety over here, so picking a favorite isn't too difficult. But I think these Panda Kings, they're probably going to take the cake for me. And that's simply because they, um, well, they do what you do. Remember, I feel like we all fell in love with isopods because as a child, we found roly polies. And that is the official term for them, roly polies. Anyone, anyone else tells you that they're wrong. That's the official term for them. And the best thing about the Panda Kings is they do the roly poly thing. They actually roll up into a ball. While other species won't do it, this species of isopod well. And I think that's pretty cool. They look angry like this right here. Look at that little face. He's like an inch big, but I guess he has a lot to be angry about, but it's, it's, it's adorable. Now, of course, this is only going to be half the equation. We unbox the isopods, and while they are absolutely magnificent, they need homes. Now, for the dairy cows, we could just throw them in. However, I believe that it's just gonna be too many dairy cows for something like a six quart shoebox bin. So we're actually gonna be upgrading them into a 20 quart bin that we have right here. It also means we'll have to make it up. We gotta make this thing nice. We love the dairy cows, and the dairy cows are gonna get a nice home. For starters, for the substrate, mix we're gonna be using my only personal mix the uh, bioactive substrate that we have and now I know a bunch of you guys probably asked in Dakota how do we get this amazing substrate bag right here and well today's sponsor is actually gonna show you that before we continue on with today's video I just want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor me if you guys don't know, we've actually recently done a full bioactive expansion when it comes to the business of Dakota Blue Exotics. This means we have everything from your bioactive substrates, drainage layer, the cleanup crew, isopod springtails, a variety of different plants, both terrarium and air plants, all the way down to complete kits that we can give for you depending on the enclosure size you're working with. I'm very excited to announce we have finally launched our e-commerce website, which means we have a full website, it's probably right here, where you guys can see all of the awesome stuff that we have and purchase it fully through that site alone. With this awesome time period of finally launching a brand new website, I wanted to give back to you guys, which means right now until the end of March, you guys can get 10% off your order for new customers using the code first time in the little discount code box. You guys check it out. We worked really, really hard on it and I'm really excited with this bioactive expansion, how it's going for the business. Thank you guys so much. Let's get back into the video. <sighs> that was a good segue. I'm happy with that segue. Boys and girls, it's going to be as easy as getting the substrate bag open and then dumping it out until we have a good amount of dirt in there. Next step now is going to be as easy as finding which bin has the dairy cows into it. Look at that. First tries the charm. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to try to move some stuff. Oh, granted, we have some decaying wood right here. That'll work out perfectly fine. I'm going to try to get the leaves first and put them in like one part of the area just to keep it nice and clean, not to have stuff absolutely everywhere. So we'll put the leaves here. We got a couple of good decaying wood in here, actually. 
The substrate that's currently in here is actually the Dirt Daddy mix of substrate. Uh, again, Kenny's an absolutely awesome guy. If you're not buying from me, buy from Kenny, because at least he'll go. At least the money will go to a good friend if it's not going to me. And it's as easy as just dumping them on in here. Let's. A lot of dairy cows in here. I, I did not expect this many dairy cows. <laughs> Boom. Hundreds of dairy cows. Doing some more leaf litter for him, then of course Kenny's awesome isopod food. We are finally done with this enclosure. Now this will be good for them until they probably hit somewhere around the four digit range, in which case I'll upgrade them again, but this is good for them for right now. Absolutely awesome to see this many dairy cows. I'm very excited. However, we still got two more cages to build, so let's get into that right now. Since these next two cages are gonna be pretty much identical to this cage, it's gonna be the same thing, just in a smaller version. Let's say we just roll a Monsage, I build this in the meantime, and then we get to check out some isopods exploring their new home. We got it boys and girls, you get a little bit of a two for one special in this video. We got to see an unboxing of some brand new isospot species that we are working with over here and a little bit of a tour of the current species that we're working with right now. In the comment section, which one was your favorite? Percy for me, I think it's got to be the panda kings. The dairy cows are absolutely awesome, but there's just something about that grumpy little face of the panda kings that just kind of makes it all worth it. Plus they roll up in a ball and how could you not love that? As always, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to follow us over here at Dakota Blue Exotics. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, goodbye.